Why Mr. Beast can't help the blind people? Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. So, that's, you know, how I was talking about with Lotto's situation about how people, you kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't as a, as a celebrity, if you waste your money and throwing away on all this frivolous stuff, they talk about you, try to be a little bit more practical or use your funds to help people, they talk about you. Well, that, that's what happened to popular YouTube star Mr. Beast, who put out a video where he helped cure 1,000 people of blindness. Kind of explained it takes about a 10-minute surgery, and he helped post, post a video where he cured 1,000 people's blindness. And I think in the video, I even said like maybe like 200 million people or 200 or 2 billion people. I don't know. A lot of people who are blind can be cured with this, but just can't afford the surgery. So Mr. Beast, who's made a lot of money off YouTube, decided to use those funds to help those less fortunate with one of the greatest gifts you can give them, eyesight. And where a lot of people thought that this was a good thing, a great deed by Mr. Beast, uh, very kind and so something that, you know, fundamentally change these people's lives you know in, in such a positive way they can see their loved ones they can see their surroundings the, you know the world isn't this blurry mess anymore great you would think some people had to find problems with it some people are saying he thinks he's jesus this is demonic and all other type of ridiculous statements and you just got to say whoa 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 pump the brakes all right mr beast this guy who's worked hard made his money did not have to do any type of kind gesture at all. The fact that he did, you know, without, you know, really getting anything from this because he's paid those people. He's paid that surgery for all those people. How much he's going to get off this video? I mean, he, he gets millions of views for so probably a lot, but I'm pretty sure he's going to put this back towards helping other people. And if people don't know, those who don't know about Mr. Beast, I think he lives like in a warehouse. He doesn't really use his money for himself. It's all to, it's all part of funding his YouTube channel and videos and creating content. And, of course, also helping people who are less fortunate with things like getting eyesight, which is a good thing, you psychopaths. Now, I understand people being frustrated with the situation, but I think that you're taking the anger out on the wrong person. And by the situation, I mean how he's they're saying he's exploiting them you know, for clicks to his videos and to make money. Well, the thing is, there would be nothing to quote unquote exploit if we had health care. But unfortunately, even though Medicare for all is very popular in this country, the United States of America, and even though uh, the, every other developed nation and country in the world has some form of Medicare for all health care for its citizens, in America, we still love to operate on the for-profit healthcare system, which is more so about these corporations who handle our healthcare making a profit than it is about us being able to go to the doctor when we're sick without having to worry about paying a psychotic amount of money. So if you want to be mad at anybody, be mad at the for-profit healthcare insurance system. Be mad at the politicians who, even though the people of America overwhelmingly support Medicare for all, are against that and find any way to not give us what we want in a democracy. Can you imagine that? Uh, be mad at all of the people who, um, let me see, what are they called? The people who work for those people, lobbyists, lobbyists, be mad at the lobbyists. They're the ones who, and, and all of the, you know, the advertisements against Having people be able to get health care covered through the government so that if they're sick, they don't have to worry about a big amount of money they have to spend or save to cure themselves or just dealing with the injury because they can't afford to cure themselves to pay for those high medical bills, those hospitals. It's ridiculous. You know, Mr. Beast, good dude, doing a good deed, and I'm happy for him, and I'm hoping that he continues this, and this becomes something that we can all maybe invest in and and and, and donate towards and, and help grow. So we because one thing I've seen, you know, we talked about the video earlier or the or, or the topic earlier with with Tyree Nichols. A lot of times we can't depend on the people who we give our tax dollars to to do right by us because you know, hey, we're not being that we're not billionaires who can fund their campaigns, and that's just what it is. So taking it out on Mr. Beast is taking out on the wrong person. You should be taking out on the culture we live in, society, and, and how healthcare is handled in this country, not on a rich guy who's trying to use his funds to help those people less fortunate 
get their eyesight. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me.